Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the e-bike guy. And here we go. We got another one of those repair videos here. Uh, as you can see before me, this is a MB Power 5000 watt hub motor. As you can see right here. Uh, this belongs to one of my members, also a subscriber on my channel. And as you can see right here, it's um, been ripped. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing, doing some repair videos on this uh, 5000 watt hub motor. Uh, he noticed that his whole sensor wasn't working, which has got the uh, tape right here on this plug. I told him to switch it to the other one because um, you have two. One is a spare, when the other one is your, uh, you can have it as your primary and you have a secondary. So I told him to switch it over to this one and it worked. But he also noticed that, um, that his cable was ripped up right here. And the reason why that, because he had this here spacer on here and which it's not needed. So we're gonna be taking it off. We're actually gonna be taking this hub motor uh, off. And what we're gonna be doing, we're going to actually um, shorten the cable up though, cause we're not gonna get him another motor cable cause he has a lot of uh, room to where he can mount his control up when he's shorted. So we're gonna short this in where it's cut into the, um, the stator and we're going to solder that on in but yeah um yeah this came from all the way from texas um i mean you know i do i do a lot of uh repairs you know on hub motors and everything like need new motor cable i can put a new motor cable in them uh hull sensors and stuff like that you know uh e-bike build this is one of uh one of these builds i did um you know for him over the phone uh this got a uh sabaton 72 150 a controller uh, we're gonna be doing a um, bigger battery we're gonna be doing a molly cell so it's gonna be 72 30 amp hour molly cell pack which is going to deliver well over 150 amps well well enough to power his e-bike so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get these these allen allen screws off take the cover off and then we're gonna see what we got going on inside. I don't know if I might. Have, I don't know if I had to take the whole stator off because also we're gonna be replacing this this free wheel. I think it's a seven-speed free wheel. We're gonna be putting a three-speed. And the reason why we're gonna be doing that is because the axles are not long enough, like the, the QS273. So um, he didn't have enough room to actually mount um, this these um this motor on the dropouts. Well, we're gonna be putting a uh, we're gonna be putting another free will on it. it's going to be a three speed all right so without further ado we're going to go ahead and turn around we're going to go take these allen bolts off and we're going to go ahead and take this get rid of this spacer and yeah we're going to go ahead and do it right quick sorry then my gopro died let me turn the echo press off yeah my gopro died on me so i wanted to document it i mean taking this free will off now in order to take this free will off they don't have a tool specifically to do this um they do have a tool to tighten this thing up you know what i mean when you screw it on I, uh, re, uh well i don't know there's a tool to do it so what i did i got the air chisel and as you can see where these indentures at right there you can you can get the air chisel and just get on in there and that vibration will actually will unscrew this free wheel off see so we're going to be replacing this with the three speed now we can go ahead and take the hub motor completely off because it was stopping us. Um, it was actually stopping us from taking it off because there was no room for that shaft to go all the way through. And these magnets are very, very powerful. These magnets are very powerful right here. So they, they're, you know, it, it takes uh, some brute force to, to get this um, stator out of this uh, hub. And that's what we're doing right now. I said my GoPro died. I wanted to, to film the, me doing all this stuff right here so that y'all can get a good picture of what I'm doing. Um, the hull sensors, we're going to repair in the hull sensors. We're not going to be cutting all this stuff. Um, we're going to be cutting the zip ties and everything loose. But uh, the extra hull sensor wires, we're going to be just uh, wrapping it up. And we're going to zip tie it. You know, we're going to just zip tie it on this uh, the support here. And um, and uh, the uh, phase wire that's cut. We're going to go ahead and route those around. And we're going to just uh, get those uh, cut. And we're going to resolder those back. So... Let me go ahead and get that stator out, and then we're gonna proceed from there. All right, so we got the stator out of the hub. 
Um, there is a little washer. There's like two or three of them right here. So don't lose those. Those go back in where, where it's supposed to be, which is between the bearing and the axle or the, uh, right there where, it, oh, there's the other um, washer right here. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. And we're gonna be um, cutting these off. We're gonna cut these zip ties off. And then we're gonna find uh, where, they got a piece of paper right here. So we're gonna find out which uh, wires is blue, yellow, and green. And then we're just gonna get the solder, undo them, and then we're gonna do them back, um, heat shrink them, and then we'll zip tie everything back to just like how it is right here. All right, I'm back in the house. It was pretty hot out there. So I went ahead and put all the equipment I needed on the table. And for this for this job, I mean, basically what you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need a soldering iron, a uh, really good one at that. Uh, you're gonna need some zip ties, you got wire strippers, you're gonna need your uh, lighter because of the fact that you're gonna be using some heat shrink to actually heat shrink the uh, wires, the connections together. And I'm, we're gonna be reusing these little, little covers here uh, for the wires. And then you're gonna need a razor. Now because of right, you need that razor, or a knife is that let me flip this over let me see where we at okay right here so so right here where we're going to be scooting this wire back in you're going to have to cut a slit in the, in the existing wire so that way you can uh, move these haul cables haul sensors and the motor uh the phase wires on out you're going to spread them on out you know what i'm saying if you don't do that then you're not going to be able to uh push the uh, extra wire up in the axle. So that's what we're gonna do right there. So we're gonna be pushing the, all the wires up until we get to the point where it's breaking at. And we're gonna just connect those to the phase wires on the stator. And then the excess hull wires, we're gonna just zip tie those up to the stator support, okay? And that's how we're gonna be doing this. Basically, the, basically it's a, just a cut wire and we're gonna be repairing it by just taking the, the bad wire out and uh, get the good wire in there so or you can just buy a whole new motor cable and do the same thing the same procedure but you'll just have longer motor cable but um in his uh case uh he don't need a longer motor cable because of the fact that you know his control is nearby so yeah we're gonna go ahead and um get this solder iron fired up get this all uh, cut up and everything i would like i say Next time I do something like this, I'm going to have my GoPro ready to go. As y'all saw, I had did a video of me riding my e-bike, my 8000 watt e-bike um, really fast. I had my GoPro charged up then, and I just, you know, so I got to keep, I got to keep ahead of that stuff, you know. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get the procedure done, and then I'll show you what I did afterwards. All right, so as you can see, it's just pretty much a mess right here. So um, I inspected all the wires and everything, and the only wire that this really was damaged was the red wire and it wasn't really damaged it was cut so it had it been grinding out on the stator um, that's why he was getting a whole sense of ever because this is the uh, positive wire anyways um, this whole sensor for some reason is encased in its own uh, cover here as you can see so there's no damage to that wire and there was only there was no damage to the green phase wire and the blue phase wire it was only just a slight cut it wasn't sheared off, so it was a slight cut in the yellow phase wire. So I went ahead and silicone the um, heat shrink that in, and also a heat shrink this in. I'm gonna carefully pull this in, um, and the axle, the axle um, housing right here, to the point where, um, to the point where this piece right here is still inside the axle itself. And then I'm still going to cut a little bit of this off, a little bit of this off. Um, to actually solder these back on and then I'm gonna heat shrink those and we're gonna be putting these covers back on And then we're gonna be zip tying up and then I'll show you the finished uh, Product and then we're gonna insert it back in the hub All right, so as you can see here, I got a roach clip Actually holding the heat shrink and the cover in place so that way I can actually can solder uh, These two joints together and that will complete our phase wire green and then we'll move on to the yellow wire, yellow phase wire, and we'll do the same for that. Uh, as you can see, I already got the zip uh, zip ties on these um, hall center wires. I have already repaired those. 
So those are already zip tied secure in place. And then once I complete all this, oh, another thing too, see? So as you can see, I got the motor cable all secured. I got the cover back on it and I had to press it back in. And it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Almost like I never touched it. So yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. It's pretty tedious work, but you know, when you can do something like this, you know, then you can save a lot of money. Or, you know, if you know somebody like my member or my subscriber knows me, you know, he's actually saving a lot of money, you know, sending it back to China and having them to fix it or, you know, or taking it to a local bike shop and have them to fix it. And they pretty much don't know what the hell they're doing as far as when it comes to e-bike, big hub motors like this. So, yeah, everything looking good. State is looking good and everything. I think we're I think we're going moving forward from this. So let's go ahead and get all these phase wires soldered up and everything and put the covers back on it and we'll see where we at from there. Alright, so there we have it. We are ready to put the stator back in the hub and bolt it on up. As you can see, I have plenty of clearance. So there's no loose, no loose wire, nothing around. I check all that. So we're fine right there. Uh, we got clearance between the zip tie. This on really tight. I got the covers on And you see right here. It's all nice and clearance free No loose strands at all Everything seems pretty tight And that's what we want. We don't want these we don't want see see this right here We don't want loose strands sticking out and rubbing on the hub motor or the, uh, the hub cover So we don't want that so, so the wire is all nice, nice and neat. And then, uh, like I say, phase cable, um, the hall sensors are nice. We got the uh, temperature sensors all nice. Okay. So that's all nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this up right quick. It's just to be on the safe side right quick. And we're going to zip tie it up and we're gonna go ahead and insert it in the hub motor. I mean, they're back in the hub. All right, so I got the cover back in. I got the screws tight, put a little bit of silicone around the edges of the cover. And then, you know, when you put it in, you know, you want to start, you know, you want to start like from, from side, you know, like from top to bottom, right, left and everything. You don't want to just do it in a complete circle and everything. So that way that the, the cover can actually can seat on the bearing that's on there. Then once you get it uh, seat on it, you want to, you want to turn it and you want to just you know feel for any type of uh, noise or any resistance so that way you know saying that way you don't feel like the, the stator or, or is binding against the cover and everything so so right now everything looking good and then we're going to go ahead and test the phase wires just to make sure that you know that they're um not that they're they're working right so let's go ahead and test that right quick and then uh I get by which I have to put it down and everything. So hold on one minute. <laughs> All right, so the packages came in today. So we got the free wheel, the three speed free wheel. Let me get it on out right there quick. Uh, let me open that up. So this is the same free wheel that I have on my bike, my 8000 YE bike. And you know, this is good for like pedaling, pedaling to the house. You know what I mean? When you're out of, you know, out of battery range you know what i mean or you know dead empty um also the um the um brake rotor came in so we got that mounted up nice and tight so that way um the owner don't have to um check the bolts and everything so we got that tight and now we're going to put the free wheel in uh if you interested in a free wheel like this if you got a big hub motor they're on amazon for about 12 dollars and then what we're going to do we got to just spin that on we don't we don't have to tighten it because once you pedals it'll tighten itself. And there we go. So lift it up. So that's the free wheel. Now he has more space because the seven speed free wheel came out about right here. And he didn't have enough space, you know, saying to put uh to actually mount the, the nut on his dropout. And that's what he really wanted. Anyways, so we got that up. Got the brake rotor on. This motor is ready to be shipped back to the owner. 
so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and zip tie these up on the rim and then um put in the box and we're ready to uh ship it back so anyways if y'all found this interesting let me know in the comments um i'm going to conclude this video for today i wish i had my gopro so that way y'all can actually see me do this stuff hands-on next time when i do build videos like this i will definitely have my gopro so that way y'all can actually can see me so if y'all interested in those type of videos too let me know and yeah this is the e-bike guy channel and i will see y'all in the next video peace